Hello. That was the slowest live, like, startup lag ever. Holy moly. It was, like, okay, it wasn't that long, but it was, like, a minute or two. And literally, like, it said zero for that long. And I was, like, I hope my internet's working. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Becky. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Isabella. How are you ladies doing this evening? I hope everybody had a really good holiday weekend or week last week. Hi, Susan. Hi, Stella. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's been so long, but it's only been two weeks, right? But it feels long. Hi, Deborah from Winchester. You're not too far from me, like 45 minutes. Yeah, Bobby, Facebook is crazy lately. Yesterday, I couldn't even comment in the group. Like, something, there's like a glitch with Facebook. And I couldn't even answer questions when I was like trying to respond to people's stuff. And I was like, what is going on? Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know me, my name is Tiffany. I am one of the owners of Peppy Gel. I am obviously here to do a Peppy Cure this evening. And I'm really excited. So, um, I know a lot of you guys asked for Christmas nails for December. So, we're going to actually start that off very mildly this evening. Hi, Jennifer. Um, so, I'm going to ease into Christmas nails. I'm not going to go heavy on the Christmas theme today because we have like three, four weeks of Christmas nails that we are going to be doing. So, I'm going to start off mildly today and then next week... We're going to be doing stamping. I have a friend coming for a live and I'm going to be doing her nails. So she's going to stamp and then the following week on the 15th, Marla, which a lot of you guys know, is going to be doing um, Christmas nails. And then the live after that will be my nails again, but I haven't quite decided if I should stick with Christmas or do New Year's for you guys. So you'll have to let me know what you guys want to do. So everybody is like so pumped up about the 12 days of Christmas. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so much fun. Literally, like, it's just so fun watching how excited everybody gets. Sorry, I had to fix my hair real quick. It was like falling in my face. Um, it, Yeah, it's so fun watching how excited everybody gets. I love it. Felicia, it's their two-year two peppy anniversary and 40th birthday. Girl, happy birthday. Um, yeah, I ran up the stairs and I'm like really out of breath. <laughs> it's not good, you guys. It's not good. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started. I'm rambling so much today. Um, so today there is no $12.99 color because you really can't beat a $9.99 color on <laughs> 12 days of Christmas, right? And there's a new one tomorrow and there's a new color every single day through December 12th, launching at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. You guys sold out day one. We'll see what you guys do tomorrow with tomorrow's color. Um, and just remember the theme is stock up on the basics. So there are a lot of basic colors this year. But it's just a really great, affordable way to add to your collection, especially if you are new to Peppy. Um, I highly recommend jumping on the 12 Days of Christmas deals. If you're unfamiliar with that, you can go into our Facebook group, Peppy Gel Dip Powder Tips and Tricks, and right in the announcements tab um, is a whole like written up thing about 12 Days of Christmas and how it works and all the exciting fun stuff. Happy birthday, Angelica. Um, so today I am going to be using Magic Wand. So I have horrible, horrible studio lighting today. So what you might see on live is not going to reflect super accurately. Um, but a little bit down here looks a little bit closer to what's going on. Let me see if I can bring my light over. Here we go. You guys can kind of see it, but then the camera gets blurry. So I need to order new lights. I didn't have time to do that since the last live. But I'm going to order new lights and then the studio lighting won't be so bad, but... This is Magic Wand. It is a great, just deep emerald green, really perfect for this time of year. Oh my gosh, like I love this color so much. 
and I wanted to pair it with Dripped in Gold tonight. However, we sold out of that and I didn't have a backup jar, so I have no jar to work with, but um, we are in production now, so once we restock it, I'll have to do another live with that, but so you guys can see what I'm doing. This is Magic Wand. Again, the studio light I'm working with today is super horrible. Um, it's not as dark as it's showing on camera. It's much lighter. But if you guys do want that really dark emerald green, I'm really going to suggest you go with three dips. Today I went with two dips and one dip of clear. Because I am working with this little snowflake guy, which is my ease into Christmas um, peppy cure. So that's what I'm doing today. But if you want that deep, deep, dark emerald green, you're really going to want to um, do three dips of it. But I did two because I'm a little bit pale and feeling washed out these days. So I'm cheating a little bit. All right. So I've already prepped my nails. They are prepped and ready to go. I want to fix this light. It is driving me crazy. Oh, that's better if I can prop it up. Hold on, you guys. I got something. I can prop this up. I actually have a pile of notebooks next to me. I'm not even joking. This is only half of them. Like, I have a problem with buying notebooks. I just love stationery for some reason. And I don't use them, by the way. They just sit. Okay. So I think I can make this work. Yeah, it's a, meh, it's a little bit better. I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying. All right. Anyways, we are working with Magic Wand tonight. And I'm going to show you how to do this little snowflake guy um, for our ease into Christmas or ease into winter. This is the first, like, cheerful peppy cure that I'm doing for the season. So I didn't want to go all out on the first one. And then the other reason that I really thought of keeping it very simple is because I did see that in the group, like... Somebody posted, I don't remember who it was, um, that they did, like, they wanted accent nails, but I guess their husband <laughs> didn't like accent nails, but she did it anyways, because that's what she liked, which, more power to you, because you should always do what you like the best. But then I started thinking about, like, girls like myself, or um, other girls in general that maybe do want an accent nail, but don't want to use other colors, so I'm like, let's kick off the holiday month. Um, with something simple and just kind of ease into some more, you know, designs as the month goes on. So that's what we're doing tonight. And actually, if you guys have never used these little things that I'm about to show you, you're going to want to watch it because they're really easy to apply. But they don't exactly lay like flush with the nail. So we'll go over that in a little bit. All my notebooks, yeah. I have a lot of notebooks. Yeah, there's no $12.99 color tonight, you guys. We cannot beat the uh, $9.99 color um, for the 12 days of Christmas, so we're not doing that tonight. But anyways, my nails have already been prepped, cuticles pushed back, they've been shaped, and um, lightly buffed and ready to go. I guess real quick... Um, I had peel base on for my last manicure, so some of you guys were following that in the group. And I got most of my nails to kind of pop off with the peel base, but I actually ended up damaging some of my nails. And it's not like horrific, but it's definitely gonna take time to grow out. But I'm gonna show you a close up. You can see right there where the um, product kind of pulled on my nail and kind of pulled a little bit of layers off. That is from pulling product off of your nail. So that was, you know, myself pulling product off the nail that damaged it a little bit. Um, and it happened on a couple of my nails where um, the peel base wasn't and it was just the nail product. Okay, so it's not like anything that I'm mad about or upset about by any means because I'm just going to put Peppy on and cover it up and I just won't use peel base unless I know I'm going to cover the entire nail and let it come off, but I really want to wear my nails for two to three weeks, so I'm not using peel base today. Okay. So I'm going to take my number one ready, and I'm going to go super light 
with my base, my liquid that I'm gonna apply to my nail. So as you can see, there's like hardly any liquid on the brush. This is how I want it to look when I go to apply on my nail bed. I don't want it to be like goopy and heavy where it's running off. You can kind of see where it's like thick looking now. I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be super thin. And in order to get the liquid really thin, I also never want to just like wipe on the top up here like I would a normal polish. I want to use the inside wiper to kind of remove that excess liquid off the brush. This is an adhesive. Let me say this again. This is an adhesive. So if you get liquid up here on the top of the bottle or on the rim, you will glue your bottle shut. You will not be able to get it open. And if you do get it open, you'll more than likely break it from force. So just be very careful. So we're gonna go ahead and go in. And since I'm only doing two dips of color, I'm actually gonna pretty much go almost all the way up because I don't want it to look uneven when I apply my second layer of color. And again, I'm using the color Magic Wand. It's a beautiful emerald green. And I'm only doing two dips of it, so if you really want that deeper, darker green, like on the website, I highly suggest that you do three dips. Uh, I'm Not Naughty is not making a comeback. That was a mystery box color. Yeah, Magic Wand is so pretty. I love it. So, and ladies, I didn't hate the peel base. I didn't. Like, I will use the peel base again. What I didn't like is, like, so I intentionally applied it. So I could get more than a, you know, one to three days out of it. I did, I didn't put it on my entire nail and that's why I have nail damage. Um, but I really like, if I'm going to change my nails in a couple days, which is super rare, I try to leave my nails on for at least two weeks. Um, then I would use the peel base. Like if I wanted to put my nails on, do this manicure and then change it again tomorrow or the next day, I would use peel base, but I don't do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do my nails like I normally would without it. Yep, today's color is Magic Wand. Oh, and I forgot to tell you ladies, if we hit 700 viewers tonight, I'm gonna give away a Magic Wand. So make sure you guys are inviting your friends and sharing the video outside of the Peppy Gel group. That's cheating. You have to share it wherever you're allowed outside of Peppy Gel. And help us get up to 700 viewers and I will give away a magic wand tonight. Magic wand, I have like secretly been dying to wear this color for so long. Like it's so pretty, so pretty. It is like the perfect like evergreen, I, I think evergreen is actually a really good color choice, like a name for it, or not name, but description, I mean, sorry. So I'm just taking my time, applying my base on super thin, and just dipping nice and slow right into the jar. I did stir the powder to loosen it up prior to dipping, which I didn't show on live. I tend to talk too much and then I just got right into dipping. Um, but yeah, just going really slow. And I really like how the snowflake turned out. I think it's so cute. It is like so wintry with an evergreen looking color and then you add a snowflake. This reminds me of winter so much. So I don't know if you guys want to call it a winter mani or a Christmas mani, but we're getting into the spirit here. So next week I'm doing my friend's nails and I believe she's going to let me stamp Christmas. I hope so. I'm going to tell her I promised you guys so she's going to have to let me. Okay, so this is the first layer of dipping. You can see I went almost all the way up, but not quite. 
You can see how nice and thin it's and smooth it is. In order to get your nails to look thin and smooth like that, you really need to have control over your base. If you don't have control over your base, they're not going to turn out like this in the end. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the Peppy Duster brush and just dust off all the excess powder. Very, very important because we don't want it to stick to our brush. You know, the number one brush here or else it's going to end up gooping up um, the liquid and we don't want that to happen. All right, so now we're going to go in and we're actually going to go all the way up to the cuticle because we don't want any color missing from the nail. We want it to look like, you know, it was fully done properly. But after I go and do that, I'm actually going to take this little orange wood stick and it's going to be hard to see once I do it. And I'm just going to kind of push along the cuticle and run the stick across after I do that last dip. And what that's really going to do is help create a really nice cuticle line in the end. Um, the snowflakes, I believe, came from Amazon. We've had them for a really long time. Um, Elise, Alicia or Alicia, I don't know if I'm saying your name right. No, once it's goopy, it's contaminated. So you really need to take care of your liquid. All right, so now we're going in with our second layer of base. And I'm only doing three layers tonight. So this is actually a really great, quick, um, holiday winter theme manicure for somebody who wants a little bit of a holiday flair, but very quickly without all the extra bells and whistles that go along with it, with stamping and all that stuff, because that does take a little bit extra time. Anytime you're doing stamping or adding all kinds of stuff to your nails, of course, it's going to take a lot longer. Yeah, the orange wood stick is great. Honestly, like, so I only just started using that this year and I've been doing my nails for like four or five years. You know, it's been a while. So, and I always thought, you know, my cuticle lines look really good. You know, like they're freehand, they look really good. I don't have any problem with it. But then when I started using the orange wood stick and I don't know why I didn't use it. I just never did, I guess. I don't know. I never really thought about it. Um, but then I started using it. I was like, this is like really, you know, started cleaning up the cuticle line a little bit more and they were already good, but now it's like better, you know, and you guys, I actually got that from you guys. Cause a lot of you, um, already were doing that on your own from other babes recommendations. And then it, a lot of people started asking, I was like, well, I'll do it on one live just to show you guys. And I was like, I don't know, maybe I should just keep doing it. Cause it, it's nice. Forgive my sniffles, you guys. It's so cold in my house that it makes me sniffle when I get cold. I know that sounds weird. And then we're just dipping. We're slowly painting and slowly dipping. Taking our time. So just remember when you're doing this at home, Take your time, like this is your me time. Take your time, have really good lighting, like just really enjoy this because learning how to do your own nails is honestly a really good accomplishment. So you just gotta be patient and practice and just really like, you know, put your effort into it so you can learn to love it. <laughs> Amanda, I told you you had to do magic wand with me. So my friend Amanda's on live, you guys. She's talking about, she just did her nails the other day and now she wants to do this color. Magic wand paired with dripped in gold is gonna be beautiful. So whichever lucky ladies got those two colors, I highly recommend pairing them together. That was my intention tonight, but like I said earlier, um, we sold out and I didn't have a spare jar saved. So I do not get to wear that. A uh, runaway train is more like bluish. This is definitely more evergreenish. 
And if you do three dips like we recommend, it's actually darker, but I'm only doing two dips tonight. And the color is Magic Wand. Very, very pretty green. Hi Kim, thanks for joining. So if you guys invite your friend, share the video, and we hit 700 tonight, I'm gonna give away a magic wand. I know somebody's gonna wanna win this color. All right, again, just taking my time. Dipping in, pulling my finger out, tapping my finger to kind of get that powder off. Using the stick to go around the cuticles. And now we're doing our second layer of color. So normally when I do my nails, I always do three dips of like solid colors, like what I'm working with now. Um, but because I'm doing that decal and also I didn't want to go super, super dark today because I'm feeling really pale and washed out. That's just my personal feelings. Um, I only wanted to do two dips. I thought two dips was perfect, but honestly, like three dips of this color is absolutely stunning. I would say Magic Wand is right up there and one of my favorite um, colors, or yeah, on the list is one of my favorite colors. Like it's just so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna show you up close again. Here are the nails up close after two dips. You can see that they are thin. They're not bumpy, they're nice and flat. Of course, there's a little texture. We haven't gotten to the buffing or any of that yet, but um, you can see like they're, they're really smooth and looking exactly how I want them to look. Sorry, I have the hiccups. <laughs> um, so again, you get this look by having full control over your liquids, full control. So thin on the base, just like I showed you on the brush when I first started this Peppy here. And then also, again, just remember your number one is an adhesive. It is like a glue. So don't get that residual product on the bottleneck or rim. But yeah, you can see how it looks. So my middle finger is still growing out from its break, but it's almost caught up to the other sisters. So I'm really happy about that. But if you're wondering why I have a little off shaped nail, which I usually don't have, that is why. So this is the little pack that I believe came from Amazon. The snowflakes I'm using are these white snowflakes right here. And I'm only using one. I'm just going for a really understated look for the first Peppy Cure of December. And then again, we're gonna elevate our holiday look as each week goes on. So I am going to get my little wax pen here, which I believe you can also get these on Amazon. And I'm just gonna pick up whatever snowflake I can grab. I'm only doing one. And these little guys like can be really annoying to be honest with you because I'm going to show you. It doesn't lay flat or flush to the nail. Like, it really doesn't. And that's really frustrating when you're trying to dip clear over it and seal it in. So what you have to do is actually kind of bend the snowflake, you know, down so it curves into the nail. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. I'm just going to bend it. You gotta kind of bend all of them for it to really just soak into the nail once we put our number one on. So not quite, I need to do a little bit more bending, but you really just kind of want to make sure you get it to form and that's how you're gonna get the smoothest blend with it. So we're almost there. I think I got it just about how I want it. So now what I'm going to do is apply some number one right where I want my snowflake to go. Again, I'm going to do it nice and thin. I 
I want it right in the corner and I want to kind of match what I did over here on the other side. And I'm just going to stick it right in there. And you kind of got to hold it down just a little bit until it dries. I'm going to show you how I buff my nail here in a minute because I'm actually going to encapsulate it in clear. So that's going to make it really easy to do everything like normal. So I'm just kind of letting it dry. we got to hang out for a minute because as it's drying, I want to keep pushing the leaves down and make sure it sticks. This is the hard part because sometimes, you know, it just kind of wants to pop up a little bit and it's almost there. Sheila, we just released this color, so it actually hasn't been shown on live, but last week this was one of the many new releases that we had. So with a lot of people wanting to just see it in action that just bought it, that's why we're showing it tonight. Alright, so I got the snowflake where I want it. It kind of looks like a little bit sloppy right now, but once you blend it in and dip it in clear, it just like forms together very nicely. Actually, I want to hold it for another second. It's still drying a little bit. That's the thing with these little decals is they're a little bit thick. So if you're not careful, you're going to notice like that added texture onto your nail. And like for me, I like my nails to be smooth. I do not like texture on my nails at all. Um, so I'm always like really careful about making sure I can blend everything seamlessly. Uh, this color will be restocked soon. I don't have an exact date. It's in production now along with many other colors. We just finished our Black Friday sale. So um, yeah, we're catching up on all of that stuff right now. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the same methods that I did with Magic Wand. And I'm going to apply my last and final dip using clear. And what this is going to do is give me that added strength that I need because you really need a minimum of three dips for your Peppy Cure to make it last for two to three weeks. That's how you get the best strength. But also in this case, it's protecting my color um, from the buffer, which is really important because I don't want... Um, any buffer marks on my nail to show up. And it's also encapsulating my snowflake for me. Which I love, now it's starting to blend in. When I go to buff it, it's gonna be even better. Yeah, the team is definitely very tired. Everybody pulled double duty. We had our packing team doing morning and night shifts. And then, of course, we were too, so it was just pretty crazy. And we're still packing. Uh, Megan, Beautiful Chaos is a thicker gl or glitter. <laughs> it's a thicker powder due to the pigment on there. So you really need to make sure like in between each dip, you're stirring and loosening up the powder, um, which is really going to help it glide on nice and smooth. You'll notice that as you add to your collection, that some powders are going to be thicker than others due to pigments or glitters added to them, um, just all kinds of reasons. So now I'm doing my very last layer which is clear and then we're going to move on to smoothing them out and buffing them i really need to get better light you guys i can see a couple flaws that 
<laughs> I normally wouldn't have if I had better studio lighting. So right now I'm kind of letting my last layer of powder in number one ready soak in. I'm going to give it just a couple seconds here and then I'm going to go ahead and open up my number two and start applying that to all of my nails. Uh, Samantha, am I ever worried about color transfer into my clear? Uh, my clear has got some stuff in there. I actually got a glitter piece on my nail right here on my middle finger, which I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I'm a little reckless with my clear. If you're worried about it, don't be like me and pour on the nail and don't dip. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my nails. I wanna make sure I'm going all around the cuticle, all around in the, uh, the sidewall areas, and then on the free edge. What you guys have to remember is the number two is what cures your system. So it's what hardens your number one and the powder together and makes it stick to your nail, but it's also what cures your number three. So if you find like your manicures aren't lasting as long or something's not working, and it, there's a good chance if your number two is older and very well used, that it's lost its strength to do its caring job. Stella, thank you. I was worried if it was gonna be too simple, but I felt like, you know, start simple and elevate it up as we get closer to Christmas. Like, why not? That's fun. Um, Catherine, my brush, I clean with a product called Cinema Secrets. It's a really great product. There's a link to it under the units tab in our Facebook group. Yep, the color tonight is Magic Wand. So I just set my nails with the number two. I am now waiting another minute or so, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing and cleaning up the nails um, and, you know, just getting everything really nice. Julie, I do not have Icicle next to me. I actually don't have any swatch sticks next to me because I'm at my home studio. I'm not at the office tonight. Yeah, I should have two jars, one for glitter, one for non-glitter <laughs> colors, but I don't. But yeah, if you guys are worried about like glitter getting in your clear and whatnot, um, I think it was Camilla. Yeah, Camilla. It was a great suggestion. Kind of like um, if you have two sets of liquids, like keep one for glitters and one for solids. Um, again, Isabella, I don't have any swatches next to me, so I can't show anything. I'm sorry. All right, so I think it's definitely been a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my drill out just to do a quick smooth over and then I'm going to do the rest by hand buffing. Uh, Anne says, which is my favorite of the 12 days? Well, I couldn't exactly tell you that without giving that away. It's a secret. Okay, so this is the drill. I'm using the Bell portable drill. I don't think they sell this particular one um on Amazon anymore they have a newer model now which is actually really pretty and I I think the link is in the group um but it it's a really nice drill if you're like me I'm a freak about cords like I hate cords everywhere so having a portable drill that I can charge is actually a really great thing and I use this drill bit it's just a you know like a sander but it's a metal one um and it works perfectly Yeah, there's no sale today, ladies. $12.99 cannot beat the $9.99 color. So your drill just needs to be on a low speed, and you just kind of take your time and go over your whole nail. So you just go slow and low and slow. Low and slow, and just kind of go over the whole nail, and just really take your time. My cord is falling off. All right, here we go. Hopefully I'm in the frame for you guys. I have the camera angle a little bit different tonight. Do you guys like it? 
Usually I'm like off to the side, but today I went straight head on and I seem to be staying in the frame a lot more. Can you tell us how many of each jar you guys made this year? <laughs> and I'm not gonna tell you that. Nope, we keep secrets at our office. All right, so I'm just going low and slow all around the cuticle, all in the side walls, and just kind of prepping for the buffer so I have to do less with my hand. But actually, if you guys have been following me for a while, I'm super OCD, so I'm actually probably gonna do a lot with the buffer, just to full warn you. But at least you can chit chat in the meantime. I'm doing my snowflake glass. I don't know why. I just am. Usually I go in order, but anytime I do nail art, I kind of like to be a little extra careful just in case. Sometimes one layer of clear is not enough to encapsulate something if you're an excessive buffer like myself. Um, so I always like to do it last just to kind of remind myself like, hey, you only have one layer here. Be careful. So again, just taking my time, going slow. Drill is on a slow speed. You do not need to go high with your drill. You just gotta go low and slow. Um, I really like this drill bit that I'm using. The ones that I highly recommend are also in the group under the units tab. There's a link directly to the ones that I do recommend. And they're actually really affordable and they're really great quality. Guys, I think our live views are down tonight because there's no 1299 color. Right before Thanksgiving, we were doing like 1,000 viewers or more. All right, so now I'm gonna go over here to my little snowflake. I'm not gonna go quite as crazy. Just take my time. So again, these little snowflake decal things are hard to work with, much like the other laser cutout ones, because they don't really form fit to your nail. You have to kind of like bend them and work with them, and sometimes even then you still don't get them to lay perfectly, which is okay. But by the time we're done like smoothing everything out and sealing it all in, you, you really shouldn't notice it at all. So I'm using a really old used buffer. Um, this is the same as the Peppy buffer block you would get in your starter kit. But I really like it because it's like less abrasive. It does a great job sanding everything down. Um, but it's not like so scratchy looking if that makes sense. But I actually did something a little different tonight that I'm gonna show you guys. And I think it actually made a little bit of a difference which I'm gonna get to here in a minute. Magic Wand Martha was just released last week and it's sold out already, <laughs> but we will be restocking it soon. This is our first time really showcasing it on live. Tracy, don't give away the box colors yet. It's a little early, but they are pretty. I really like them. I thought the box colors are really pretty. I know some people didn't like them. I mean, they were red and green Christmas colors, so I, I don't know. We thought that they would be cool right at this time of year because everybody likes the red and green, but, um, you know, it's not for everybody, which is okay. But the mystery boxes are fun, like, if you are open-minded about them, like, because they're there, you know, just to get you out of your comfort zone and try something new. Me. 
I love the snowflake. It's such a just simple, understated way to dress up a manicure without doing a full accent nail of a different color or anything wild. Just super simple. All right, so what I did different today, after I buffed, I was like cleaning and organizing my home studio recently. Um, I, I built a cloth <laughs> excuse me. So if you guys don't know what a cloth is, it's basically where you turn a closet into an office. So I live in a really tiny house, like it's not too big. And in the guest room was where I had my nail desk before, but it was just too cramped and too crowded. So I renovated the guest room and I took um, everything out of the closet, which really wasn't like holding anything useful. <laughs> it was just stuff that needed to be donated um, and built a desk in there and some shelving. And this is now where my puppy studio is. So it actually works out really nice. But in the meantime of going through all that, I found one of these old buffers that I had from whenever where it has like, you know, step one, even out, step two, smooth the nail, buff, um, buff the nail, and then shine the nail. I really took, I took this and I was like, I want to remove some of the scratch marks from, you know, the regular buffer so you can see less of it, you know, because sometimes you can see it on the darker colors um, and try, like try to take some away. And it really did. Like I can see a little bit of a difference from my last Peppy Cure with Fishnet Stockings to this one. So I was like, this is a really great, like, bring back. So I'm going to show you, let me do my thumb first, but I'm going to show you a side by side of what I mean. Cause you got to think like, you're going to see, you know, through your top coat, right? But you can see like my middle finger has a rougher texture and now my pointer finger is like nice and smooth. So I thought it was really cool. I've never done that before on a peppy here. I was like, why not try it? You know, I like to try new things every now and then. And um, I'm glad I did. So I'm actually gonna use two sides. I'm gonna use the smooth outside and the even outside, I think. Or no, even out and then the smooth. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just go over the shape of my nail, even though I pretty much already shaped them. I'm gonna do it again because I wanna make sure it's nice and even. When you put you know, an overlay on your nails, you lose your shape a little bit, so you just have to clean it up. So this, I've never done this step on live. This is like a completely unnecessary added step, but I wanted to do it, so I am. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and just fix up the shape really quick. Yeah, this color is stunning, you guys. Look, see, I got one piece of glitter from my clear right there on my middle finger. I don't care. It's my little accent, I guess. This is why you don't get sloppy like Tiffany and just dip into the clear. You should really pour over your nail. So again, I'm just fixing up my shape. This is a little bit hard to do on the live because the angle is awkward. I usually use the side of my nail desk to really clean it up. It gives me full control of where I'm holding my file, which is really nice. And just like that, we are pretty much cleaned up on one nail. So just remember, when you put anything on your nail, it's gonna change the shape just a little bit, but you can see here, just a real quick, simple cleanup because I've already done you know, the groundwork previously before the peppy here started. So all I have to do is just you know, do a quick touch up. Um, Fran, no, this is just a random buffer that I found again when I was just organizing my uh, peppy cloth this year. But if it's something you guys are interested in, I'm sure it's something we can carry. We can make sure we get the best ones for you. All right. 
So just slowly taking my time. Shaping is very important that you want to take your time with it. I just gotta go right over here on the edge of the desk really quick just so I can fix this one. Let me just pull you guys out so you can actually see what I'm doing. And then we'll just put it back when I'm done. Okay, yeah, so I just go right here on the edge of the desk just like this. So you guys should be able to see, of course you guys now see my lap. Let me scoot back just a little bit so you can see less of my lap because that's embarrassing. Yeah, I'm not a person that can shape and hold my hand like freely because I always find that my shape never comes out exactly the way I want it to while I'm like wobbling my hands around. So I always use the edge of the desk. Alright, so now we're going to go over here to the middle finger, which is a little bit wonky to begin with because it's the one that I broke a while back and I'm trying to grow it out without putting anything on it. But I can't over file it because it's not quite even and ready for that yet. But it's good enough for now. I have to say, I'm not used to having my nails so short, you guys. I know they look like long still, but this is actually really short for me. All right, and now we're gonna touch up our pointer. We're almost done. Where we're just gonna review it all, make sure we're happy, and then seal it up with the shine coat. So as you guys can see, like, this is just a really, like, simple peppy cure to really kick off the holiday season. Uh, Felicia, shaping can be a little bit tricky. Um, since I've cut my nails shorter, I'll openly admit like my shape is not as perfect as it usually is because um, I'm getting used to doing it at a shorter nail length. But it's okay. Like, just The key is honestly just going slow and taking your time. If you go too fast, that's how, you know, mistakes tend to happen when you're shaping. So just take your time. My nails also like to curve in when they grow. Um, I have a really strong C-curve and I actually don't like that. <laughs> so I spend a lot of time like going underneath trying to, you know, fix that and like even it out just a little bit because I'm not the biggest fan of it. But sometimes like I can overdo it. And then it not be as good as I want it to be. So just take your time. Shaping, I feel like, is the one thing that I'll always be working at. I think like many of us, because we always want that perfect shape. So maybe we always find like new techniques that work better for us and whatnot. Like this, my thumb, this thumb has a really strong C curve, but it's only on one side. Also, you'll find like your nails tell a lot about your health, ladies. So if you're seeing drastic changes in your nails, um, you might want to do a doctor follow up because your nails are like can tell early signs of a lot of things going on with your health. So just something to think about too when you start noticing a lot of changes. So let me go ahead and push back. The camera, oi, there we go, um, so we can get a good view here. So now this is at the time where you really want to like just double check your manicure, make sure it's exactly how you want it because once you seal it up with the shine, if you're anything like me, you don't want to go back and try to fix it up. So what I am going to do is just do one more right here, right around the cuticle. The cuticle is what drives me the craziest the most, so I always spend a lot of time on that, as you guys can see. So let me go ahead, just dust off all that extra powder, 
And I think we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and apply. I said ahead twice, didn't I? We are going to apply our number three. First our number two and then our number three. Uh, Lucy, the color is Magic Wand. It was released last week, so this is our first time showcasing it on live. Um, the only thing I say here is that it looks a little bit darker on camera due to my poor studio lighting than it is. But if you do like that darker look, you can always do three to four dips on your nail um, to kind of achieve a similar look. Oh no, my light just died. I have two lights up and my little one just died, you guys. I don't think you can really tell. Okay. Oh man. Now it's like dark for me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take our number two. Uh, Lucy, it is sold out right now, but it will be restocked soon. Okay, so I am gonna take the number two and I'm not going to go heavy on this round. I'm going to do just enough to cover the nails, but I'm not going to oversaturate them. This is very important. Again, this bottle cures your number three. So if the balance isn't correct, you're not going to find that your number three is going to dry shiny the way that it should. So very, very, very important that you follow everything to the T that I'm about to do right now so you can have the best results in the end. So let me go ahead and get my paper towel because I'm going to need that here in a minute. And I have my timer. And I'm going to go ahead and just set my nails. Again, I'm not saturating them. I'm doing just enough to cover the nail so it can do its next job of making the number three dry and keeping it shiny. At this point, we wait exactly two minutes before we go on and apply our number three. Hi, Rebecca, how are you? Uh, Kelly, it's not a stamp. It's one of these random laser cutout decal things that we got off Amazon a while back. Uh, Jordan, at this point, you could, I could honestly leave my nails matte how they are right now. Um, especially because I did that smooth out buffer. It looks like I have a matte top coat on and it's really pretty. Um, but you can use any matte top, top coat out there um, that you want for your nails. You can just do your number two and then apply your matte top coat. So again, I'm still waiting. I have one more minute, so I'm halfway through. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all my nails off with a paper towel. This is very important. So you don't get any of that number two residue transfer onto your number three bottle. Because again, your number two is what cures. So if you're not careful, it will cure on your number three brush and make it hard. So very important that you follow exactly everything to the T. So we're coming up on our minute. Real quick, your bottle care with your number three is the same bottle care you would use with your number one. Do not get any liquid on the neck or the rim. It will seal itself shut and you'll find yourself having trouble, um, you know, getting it open and that's not gonna be good. Uh, Jordan, will we ever develop a matte top coat? I mean, we certainly could, but, you know, any matte top coat would work. So, I don't know. Maybe if everybody requests it, we might. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take our number three. It's been two minutes. The key to avoid your brush turning hard, again, let me say this again. The key to making sure your brush does not turn hard is to do quick strokes quick strokes, two to three quick strokes, and don't overlap them and wipe your brush. If you go too slow, that number two residue on your nail is going to soak into your brush and it's going to start trying to cure and turn your brush hard. That is why your brush turns hard. It's two to three quick strokes. You have to create a barrier layer before your finer, final layer of shine. 
So two to three quick strokes. And try your best to not overlap them. If you overlap them, your shine may not dry shiny because you're just smearing around that number two residue. So now we're gonna go in right away and do our final layer of shine and seal our free edge. You still wanna go somewhat quick, but you can slow it down a little bit right here just to kind of make sure that you get your nail nicely covered. So that's the biggest thing I always see is, why did my number three brush turn hard? It turns hard because you're number two. Your number two cures it. So you have to be very careful. You have to go quick, quick, quick. That's how you prevent it. All right, and that's it. So here in about two to three minutes, it'll be completely dry and ready to go. And that's our first entry into a holiday pet be cure. I'm sorry, you guys, my one light died, so now it's a little bit dark. And I charged it before live, so I don't know why it died. Garcia, thanks for joining, girl. Peppy Gel is so much fun, so hopefully you grab a kit. They're 20% off with the code thank you 20 And this is how the nails look, ladies. So again, it's very dark. I'm sorry. My other light died. I promise I will order a new studio light here soon. Hi, Vicky. Bobby says it's a new addiction. Stella, thank you. Valerie, thank you. Adelina, no, you don't have to wipe it, but if you want to, you certainly can. But also make sure when you are wiping your brush, you're not doing it in the same spot. It needs to be on a different spot of the paper towel. There's no shimmer in this color, no. The color is Magic Wand. It's a flat color. Um, it's a little bit darker usually, but I only did two dips, so... You can go lighter with two dips and then top your third dip with clear like I did. Or you can go darker using three to four dips. So that's the magic of like all the peppy colors is like you can dictate how light or dark you want them to be by how many layers you apply. Uh, Margaret, yes, Magic Wand was a new release last week. All right, ladies, that's it for this evening. Unfortunately, we did not hit our numbers tonight, um, but that's okay because I know next week we'll be back on our A-game. It was kind of a slowly jump back into live week after a busy holiday weekend. <laughs> All right, ladies, I am signing off for the evening. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you next week at 8.30. I'm doing my friend's nails, and I believe we're going to do some Christmas stamping. So if you want to see more Christmas nails with the new design, make sure you tune in because you're going to learn how to stamp too. All right, so good night, ladies. I hope you have a good evening, and we'll see you in a week. Bye.